Welcome to another math video. In this video, we are going to solve for x. Immediately, you might want to say x is equal to 0. And technically, it could be, but I'm going to show you a different answer. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression. So if we divide the x from the right side, which is technically 1 times x, that'll leave us with 1. And then we'll have x to the power of x divided by x is equal to 1. Now we know that that x technically has a power of 1. So we're going to use exponent properties to break this down further. So if we have a to the m divided by a to the n, it equals a to m minus n. Therefore, we can rewrite again and say that x to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 1. Now, if you were to plug in 0 to this, you would have 0 to the negative 1, which is technically undefined, which is not equal to 1. So therefore, we need to figure out how to solve this. So we are going to use three, I guess you could say, principles to um, try and figure this out. So the first one is, is if a is equal to 1, then b is a real number. If a is equal to negative 1, then b is equal to any positive number. And if b is equal to 0, then a cannot be equal to 0. Now this is all being said based on the fact that a is to the power of b. So a is our base and b is our exponent. And these are the properties based off of it. So now that we've said that, we are going to test these out to see what we get. So the first one, our base would be 1, and our exponent can be any real number. So we are going to go with 1. So if the base is 1, we have 1 minus 1 is 0, which equals 1, which means x can be 1. So the next one is where our base is negative 1. Negative 1 to the power of negative 1 minus 1 is equal to negative 1 to the power of negative 2, which is equal to 1 over negative 1 squared, which is equal to negative 1. And therefore, x is equal to negative 1. Lastly, we have 1 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 1, and x is equal to 1. So therefore, out of these three instances, x can either equal 1, negative 1, or 1 again. Which means that the final answer to this is x can be plus or minus 1. Overall, this may come across a little confusing. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If not, stay tuned for more videos. Okay.